Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. We're changing things a little bit and trying out new methods of simplifying the teachings and um, putting things forward. So looking at Merrill's code today, M-I-R-E-L, and why is it important? So the question for today is what is a mirror score? So this is very important not only from orthopedic point of view but also if you're learning as a resident or an intern or as a medical student and you're looking at pathological fractures. So it's a score to determine risk of pathological fracture. Okay. Now it's very easy to learn and very easy to remember. We're going to have a look at how you classify Mirrell's score. So it is basically divided into four basic things and um, the rating is done based upon point system. So we've got one, two and three points based upon these following criteria. Okay, so we're looking at site of the lesion we're looking at size of the lesion we're looking at how the lesion is in terms of being plastic mixed or a lytic lesion and finally we're looking at the pain so the site can be upper limb lower limb or the peritrochantic region which i've mentioned is trochanter here now the lesion that's there in these sites is then looked at as how much of the diameter is the lesion extending up to so it can be one third of the diameter one third to two third of the diameter more than two thirds of the diameter the third thing as i said is we look at the lesion itself whether it's a sclerotic lesion whether it's a mixed or a uh, mixed and lytic sclerotic or a lytic lesion and the final thing we look at is the pain mild moderate and functional pain and the scoring system is as you can see you can pause the video to have a better look at it so now based upon this functioning system we calculate the total score and that total score judges the relevance of mirror scoring system so the total score determines whether you need a prophylactic fixation or not okay so score of eight or more than nine uh, you usually say anything above nine is an indicative of prophylactic fixation okay now it is very important to know the sensitivity and the specificity of mirror scoring system as well the sensitivity is up to 90 but the specificity is only 35 percent uh, this is very important because it can lead up to unnecessary fixation this is a drawback of mirror score now I thought we'll do a real life example and have a look at the hip x-ray. So let's have a look at this hip x-ray which shows a lesion on the trochantic region on the femur. So that's a lesion that I just showed you there. All right, so the left x-ray on the left is the AP view and on of the pelvis on the right side is just of that hip. So you can see the lesion there. Okay, so now let's calculate the mirror score for this lesion okay from what we have learned in the classification above we're going to use that to determine what the mirror score for the lesion is and obviously based upon that looking at whether this lesion needs prophylactic fixation or not so the lesion is in the trochanter it looks like a lytic lesion it occupies about two-thirds or more just more than two-thirds of the diameter and let's say the pain is moderate. So the mirror score is about 11. And using our criteria, this lesion should have a fit prophylactic fixation. Uh, you can use a dynamic hip screw or a nail to prevent fixation. Now, thank you for watching. Like and share. Subscribe to our channel. And keep coming back for more. Do not forget to watch our next video. Also visit navmedvideos.com.